A leader at a Detroit nonprofit is accused of preying on low income residents and stealing their homes. Federal officials say more than 30 houses in Wayne County, primarily in Detroit, were impacted by this scheme that targeted those at risk of facing tax foreclosure. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez is at the U.S. District Courthouse with reaction. According to the federal complaint, the FBI started looking into Zenia Thomas, the director of homeownership programs at the United Community Housing Coalition last November, when a special unit within Wayne County suspected she was filing fraudulent quick claim deeds and falsifying documents. This is a pervasive crime that occurs. The problem is that the, the entry level for the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Department of Justice is higher than the typical uh, fraud that occurs. But in this case, federal investigators discovered Thomas allegedly conspired to steal over 30 properties from low income residents. Here's how the feds say the scheme worked. Thomas allegedly filed a number of phony deeds who would then transfer the target properties from the victim owners to interim owners who didn't exist before ultimately selling the house to unsuspecting third parties. And you seemingly have a number of people who are unindicted co-conspirators uh, those are people who are typically cooperating. There's also, I'm sure, other people who uh, will be interviewed and, and, uh, and will either cooperate or not. The United Community Housing Coalition says they're cooperating with the investigation and the individuals involved have been suspended. It's just disheartening that uh, an employee of a nonprofit um, would you know, take advantage of their position. Other housing advocates say this is an isolated incident that casts a shadow on their mission to help the community. This happens, um, unfortunately, uh, and, and mostly to vulnerable people, either economically disadvantaged, uh, senior citizens, Right, we see a lot of times that these kind of crimes happen to disadvantaged people. Um, but there are a lot of organizations out here that are doing good. The United Community Housing Coalition works with the city of Detroit, who said in a statement they're aware of the investigation for several months and don't believe it has affected the quality service the city of Detroit is receiving from UCHC in our right to counsel and other programs. In Detroit, Andres Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit.